So true light is actually hard to find. So much of what we've come to be over the centuries and the millennia or whatever that we use in our present, we don't know the backstories of how those things that came to be. Even something as beautiful as Disney for a certain movie or whatever, coming up with the channel or Radio Disney, whatever of the various elements of their story and their chapters, there's things that one person or more people, there's negative things that people could have done to get to those positive places that just aren't shown. So in the clothing we wear, the technology that adva advancements that we've gotten to, in the things that we use that make life easier, and the things that we use in life for enjoyment, for entertainment, like in Hollywood, they say there's a lot of like, I feel like I, I've read or heard that there's stuff about like, Child, like child sexual abuse like that there's I don't know either I don't know if it was that there are circles of that or just that stuff like that happens like there's so there's so if if Los Angeles if Los Angeles that actually or you know Hollywood that produces all this beautiful like entertainment and just creativity and hope I guess, like, maybe if you use it right or something, like, all this creativity or whatever, if that place is also, like, potentially a den for negative stuff, like, I don't know how, like, there could be other negative stuff, too, maybe what I just said isn't completely true, maybe it is, I don't, but things in all areas of our lives that we participate in or use currently we don't always know the backstories of how all those things came to be. Like, even looking at how food is made, like, apparently people discovered that, like, people treat animals horribly. Have I witnessed that firsthand? No. But at least that's one thing that's said. So, and who knows what's true and what isn't, unless you've seen it with your own eyes or have, like, or done good research or you really have a reason to believe or whatever. Or maybe you just intuitively know it's true in your heart. But... There's, there's negative, evil, bad, whatever, that could be the ingredient, or one of, not the ingredient, but one of the ingredients of something that we love. A person that you look up to in music, in your field of study or your field of practice, whatever, a parent, you might learn something not so great about them, who you thought was your hero, or who you looked up to. So true light is hard to find. All these people saying whatever in our current American culture, everyone painting themselves as like, oh, if you don't believe this, get off my Facebook. Think playing the high card all the time. Are they real light? Like when it comes down to it? Like if you really hit the grit and grind of a situation, would your heart shine? I wonder, I suspect, there's a lot of false light out here. People claiming they are, and they're not. And 
And sometimes the people you come to think are the villains or the bad guys have more hero in them than or more true light in them than some of these false lights. Couldn't that be the case? I guess I don't know. But true light, what lasts past real grit and grind situations real light that's not as prevalent as everyone's talk might lead one to think So there is a case for Xehanort. For any of the Kingdom Hearts fans. <laughs> and then even if you have that true light, how much of that is really you deserving credit for that. Like, I think I have true light. But how much of that is Disney, Christianity, and if you consider rap, true light. If you, I don't know if that is or not, but if you, music, that type of stuff, cartoons of our youth or the shows of our youth, all this stuff, these are forces that, be, like Disney, that's how it hits me, that's based on the time period I'm in. Christianity has been around for a while and is a big force. Like, all the Disney is a big force. Rap has become a big force. Music is a big force. Cartoons and all that, and shows, you know, those kids' shows that you just eat up growing up. That's a thing of our time period. Like, these are forces that have grown in me and then where did those forces come from like what's their origin stories like who sowed those or like what are the you know like who sowed that and then who sowed the person or the bean or whatever that sowed that like what's the chain or whatever so I'm so even if you are a true light you're really just a medium for forces or people or whatever. When you're a baby, when you're a child, you take in stuff from your environment. Like, you don't just come out being like, oh, look, world, you should know this and this and this. You don't come with your own juice. Like, you get fed things. And some things stick more quicker than others. If you have, like... If it's just meant to be. So you can't even really credit yourself if you are a true light. really and yet false lights want to act all pretentious <laughs> <laughs>